And then watch this. A powerful burst along with sediment that popped out of this tank. Today I want to show you how to flush a water heater with the help of the sediment buster. Check the serial number to find out how old your water heater is. Ours is 13 years old. Sediment Buster includes a four-step setup process to start the flushing process. Step one is turn off the power to the water heater. For electric water heaters, you turn off the power at the breaker. And for this gas water heater, we have an on-off switch right here. Step two, with the power turned off at the water heater, now it's time to purge out the hot water from the tank. To do this, turn on multiple hot water faucets in your home. Every water heater has a cold water inlet. This is a dip tube that goes all the way down to the bottom of the tank. The hot water is then drawn from the very top. By purging the water, we're able to cool off the temperature at the lower part of the tank. Step three is to attach the sediment buster. Now make sure that you use a full port hose, a wide opening that allows sediment and water to pass through. Attach your hose to the base of the sediment buster like this, and then take your sediment buster and attach it to your drain valve. Step, 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 and step. Somewhere in there we can cut it off. Now we are ready to flush the water heater. Notice that the cold water inlet is on, thereby pushing water and pressure inside the tank. The hose is gonna run outside. So we are first gonna try to flush the water heater with the tank's pressure. I'm gonna open the sediment buster's valve and then I'm gonna open the water heater's drain valve. Yep. Yep. We have been running water through a couple of minutes and you'll notice that the glass is very clear. This means that the tank is relatively clean of sediment, but we're going to go ahead and stir the tank and really make sure that we get all the sediment out. To do this, I'm going to turn off the sediment buster's valve and I'm gonna engage it with a few short bursts of air. Then I'm going to turn it back on. Now we're going to stir the tank. So I'm going to close the sediment buster's valve. Now normally, if you had trouble getting sediment out of the tank, you would use this process as well. But in this situation, we're simply going to stir the tank with air. I'm going to engage this with a few short bursts of air. And then watch this. A powerful burst along with sediment that popped out of this tank. We've been flushing this tank for a couple of minutes and you can see that the glass is relatively clear. I'm going to shut the sediment buster's valve off. I'm going to engage the nozzle with a few short bursts of air and open it back up and you'll see that sediment is coming out along with the water. Yep. You can also find it useful to simply engage the sediment buster with the valve open. What's happening is air is being forced in and right back out, disrupting any remaining sediment at the base of your tank. Yep. So we've been flushing this tank for about 10 minutes. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. In some situations, you might find, though, that there's so much sediment that you'll actually want to drain the tank. We have an additional steps and instructions on how to drain the tank empty. But in our situation, we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the water heater's drain valve. With this still engaged and open, I'm going to blow air out the hose. This way I can clean and drain my hose out and then easily and clean, take the sediment buster right off. After detaching the sediment buster, just go around and make sure that the hot water is running full and clear. And that's it. Just simply turn the power back on, let your tank heat back up and you're in business. Try the sediment buster. It is a game changer.